my channel my name is wodo i live in winnipeg manitoba and i share content about immigrating to canada and life in canada so today is um, a continuation of the frequently asked questions on immigration and i'm starting this series about provincial nominations so that people can take advantage of getting provincial nominations instead of being stuck in the express entry pool now we all know the requirement of um writing IELTS, evaluating your credentials, creating an express entry profile, and then being in the pool. So once you're in the pool, the federal government actually draws from the pool and gives people invitation to submit a full application um, for permanent residence in Canada. But it is very, very competitive. And as at the last draw, there are still about 147,285 active express entry profile so that means if you're entering the pool you are going to be in competition with 147,000 people and of course you know the federal government wants to um, give permanent resident status to about 350,000 immigrants so they're looking for economic immigrants that will come into Canada um, every year between 2020 and 2022 Although we know all what is happening and I did one video where I mentioned that the immigration intake might reduce for this year because of what is actually happening. It's not the plan that it should actually reduce, but because of what is happening, um, yeah, the processing times and everything is just slowing down. So, of course, you know, Canada cannot admit 350,000 permanent residents for 2020. If this issue clears out then they can admit as much as they can but i don't think it's going to be up to the 350,000 people that was projected for 2020 so that being said um if you have created your express entry profile and you are finding it difficult to immigrate the next thing to do is to start searching for either a provincial nomination or searching for a job and then immigrating through AIPP and RNIP. Those ones require job search. For Alberta, Alberta gives provincial nomination to people who are already in the express entry pool and based on specific occupations that they need that are in demand in their province. Now, they don't really have a list of occupations in demand. They just give based on certain criteria and certain factors and the list minimum score to be eligible to for an Alberta provincial nomination is actually 300. But I usually advise people to get at least a 400 and above so that you can be at a competitive edge um, once they want to give a provincial nomination. Between 2019 and 2020, um, the early part of 2020, they were actually giving provincial nominations to people that had occupations in administrative assistance, um, had occupations in retail sales, had occupations in um, graphic design or something i don't know but i think i'll put a list of the number of occupations they've actually given provincial nominations to in alberta so that you can see what the occupations are but it is not fixed so they can decide to change those occupations so i cannot really say um these are the lists of occupations that they give nominations to because they usually change it from time to time so it is not a fixed list so based on that if you're in the express entry pool and your comprehensive ranking score is between 300 and 400 i will advise that you go back and rewrite your ielts again so that you can get a higher score that is above 400 and try as much as possible to look for other ways to improve your crs score so that you can get provincial nomination from alberta um like i mentioned i'm repeating it several times so that you do not quote me that i said this and that and that they do not have an occupation in demand list but they can actually give provincial nominations to people whose scores are 300 and above but preferably 400 especially for certain occupations that they feel they need in alberta that's um, a summary for alberta because people keep asking questions on how can they apply for alberta provincial nomination you cannot apply you just need an express entry profile and then 
Alberta will choose you and ask you to apply to them. You get a nomination from them. So that is that is um, a provincial nomination for Alberta. Thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. Bye-bye.